good morning you guys and welcome back to another vlog today is sunday today is father's day um mazi is going to the store right now he went to the gym he's going to the store he's about to be back home um he wants turkey burgers so i'm gonna make him some turkey burgers and i think today we're gonna do we're gonna go swimming everybody's gonna be swimming today we're gonna be kicking it really this day is gonna be what he wants to do and what he likes to do is relax he'd be working a lot all these things so he wants to relax he wants to do you know he wants to play his game okay he wants to eat good we're gonna have fun in the sun okay look at cats in the background <laughs> um i just made breakfast for us and then um about to get myself together girl because we're not we're not together at all uh, and yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Super excited to celebrate him because he is such a good father. His fatherhood is really a blessing. Like, he's just a really good dad. He's a very good person all the way around, but he's an exceptional father. He is the standard, okay? Y'all wouldn't know that because y'all don't see much of Mozzie, but I'm telling you, he is the standard, just period, in all things. He's just the standard, and his fatherhood is exceptional. So I'm excited to celebrate him because I love him and I appreciate him and I respect everything he does for us. And, you know, he provides, he protects, he he does everything he needs to do and more. So super excited to celebrate him. As you guys know from last week's vlog, I got him a little desk. Um, I also got him, I don't think, I, no, you guys didn't see this. So I got him, he's a big, big Marvel fan, okay? marvel his whole life he could tell you everything about marvel pretty much i'm sure he he knows a good majority about marvel he can tell you about characters and all that stuff he's just such a huge marvel fan um so so i got him a marvel encyclopedia he used to have one but cascade literally tore it to shreds it, it, yeah so i got him another marvel encyclopedia and it came the next day so i had built his desk and then the next day it came so i put the book inside the drawer of his desk and that's where his controller was so when he got home and he you know got settled in and everything like that um, and he opened the drawer to grab his controller to start playing his game he's seen the book and girl let me tell you he was almost in tears why this boy loves to uh throw my phone behind the bed i really don't understand that okay but anyway so yeah, I had went and got him that and it was really cool to surprise him that way because I'm really not good at surprises, but I feel like I really did a number with that one, okay? Mm. We're still getting ourselves together this morning. It's already 10, but girl, we've been lounging and everything like that. So when he gets here um, and we start to really like, you know, doing stuff, I'll go ahead and start vlogging again. All right, you guys, we are out in the pool. He's something else. We're about to go swimming. We're about to have some fun. Woo! <laughs> no. All these dolls. Alright, you guys, we are back in from swimming. We had a blast. It was really, really fun. I'm looking tore up. Um, I need to shower, wash my hair, all that stuff. I'm also needing to cook um, lunch. Well, Father's Day lunch. Mozzie wants turkey burgers, so that's what we're about to do. And I'm going to work on editing. So yeah, that was really fun. You had fun with buggies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Though he was throwing me in the pool. Damn, you <laughs> killed me. Okay. Yeah, you did. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Headed to the store because Mozzie wants the same surf and turf that I made yesterday, uh, which was in the last vlog, but I didn't show you guys the whole process because when I went to go film, my camera died and I had no, I didn't notice it died until I was like halfway through the meal. So I'm gonna make it again because that's what Mozzie wants, it's Father's Day whatever and it was good as hell so yeah i don't mind making it and i low-key want to perfect it just like make it even better oh raggedy but um yeah what was the whole point of this oh yeah i'm going to the store guys and i'm getting the ingredients and we're about to actually cook this for you guys for the vlog i thought it looked hella good and that was my first time making lobster and granted i had i just put it in the oven but girl i had a 
Girl, I had to devein the lobster. I had to cut the little legs off. Break the spine. This is new to me. You guys don't get it. This is new to me. And I'm out here doing it. It's like almost, I don't mean to brag. And this may sound very arrogant, but it's really not. But it's just like dead ass. I feel like anything I try, I end up being good at. Like, I think that's my talent. I could just damn near do anything. Like, literally, if you show me how to do it, I can do it. And I can do it well. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy to me. Um, yeah, girl. So, um, yeah, I'm about to play my music because I feel like vibing. So, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, so this is the final dinner. Honestly, I'm kind of upset because I don't have any asparagus. I love asparagus with meals like this. It's like one of my favorite things to eat, but we didn't have none, and it's already, well, it's 10.30. So that is, this is it for, okay, this is it. This is all we can get. Carbs, starch, protein, okay? <laughs> but yeah, and then um, I didn't tell you guys, but I, Last time I made this meal, we um, I made lobster tail with it, but they didn't have no lobster tail anymore, so girl, I had to stick with the shrimp. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to enjoy this. I hope Mazu does too, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. So the Florin people came this morning and finished the stairs. Thank God they weren't here too long. They were here for like a few hours. Um, damn. Uh, they were here for a few hours. They got here really early in the morning. Um, Cascade is laying down. He's like moving around and stuff though. This morning, I'm telling you, I will quit today if one more thing irritates me. I'm not gonna front. Um, Cascade has just, this morning, he was on one. Absolutely on one. Just, ha he, you know he's our first boy he is he's our first child period and he's the baby of the house so you know with that comes 
him being spoiled uh and i try you know i i there's no excuse he is he's spoiled um and he's naturally a really like assertive aggressive kid he's just you know not aggressive in a violent way but he's just very just very assertive and he's a fireball and you know i know everybody has their ways to do things with their kids i'm not asking you guys for advice i'll i'll ask you if i need it but i'm not asking you i'm telling you what i do you know my mindset is i really i don't want to fight fire with fire and he's a fireball you know i want to be the peace and the calm in the situation um when he's having a hard time and it's frustrating there's times where i'm just like you know i'm about to lose it i'm about to snap but you know i really try to maintain my composure and like really be the calm and the peace to his you know chaos when he's frustrated granted uh you know he's still working on words so you know there's only so many ways he can communicate with me and then there's times where he just wants what he wants and it's a no and then he wants to throw a tantrum so it's you know it takes a lot of patience for me and i really want to understand where he's coming from i really want to understand how he's trying to communicate and really decipher the differences between him just having a tantrum and just throwing fits and just being just a crazy baby and and him actually communicating his frustrations and his anger and he's really he's trying to express himself um today's mozzie's day off and i feel like the morning has already started late because these people was doing the stairs and so you know we've been waiting for them to leave and they they left they got everything done um mozzie is getting his hair cut right now um and again like i said cascade sleep I actually need to edit a vlog that I need to post today that I should have posted yesterday, but I just, I didn't have the time. So I'm really about to start grinding and get this uh, vlog done, edited and everything posted today. Oh, look who's up. Hi. Hi. I still haven't eaten yet so um i'm gonna go ahead and get to what i need to do um while mozzy is getting his hair cut so i will check in with you guys i always say that i hate saying that i will check in with you guys in a minute i'll check in with you guys later huh um i will see you guys in a minute good morning you guys um this morning i slept in a little bit i don't know why but i feel like i don't know if it's because i slept in or if i just woke up like this but my head is a little it's pounding girl cascade cascade is on one this morning once again i don't know maybe they taught uh, terrible twos or something like that he's not terrible he's just he's just doing a lot like so he like walked into a corner and has a little cut on the side of his eye i'm like great not only is your nose bruised but you had a cut on your side of your eye i i he and then on top of that he just keeps going he keeps he just keeps going he, he doesn't stop so whatever right um so i'm actually cleaning right now um and i'm gonna pop you guys up so you guys can watch what's up bear
So um, I cleaned up, finished cleaned up the room. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually shampoo my area, excuse me, my area rug. Um, and I really wanna try to get this clean because like, I told you guys in the last vlog, I really cannot figure out how to clean it. I'm gonna shampoo it again. I'm gonna add some stain remover and I got some like, I think it's good soap. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Um, and then I need to go do laundry. Um, need to wash my bedding and all that stuff, so. I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you guys me cleaning the carpet. You guys so i cleaned the rug um honestly this rug wasn't very expensive and i think i got it either at target or walmart a while ago and i guess it just comes with that like if it was like what 60 70 bucks maybe expensive to some but like if you really look at rugs like this is pretty inexpensive for a size like this and like kind of how it looks like it's you know it's pretty cheap but then again cheap sometimes comes with like cheap material and unfortunately i do think it faded but i think maybe when it dries we'll see if it helped at all or not um but honestly if this if it continues to look like how it did i'm just gonna go ahead and get a new rug later on when we move out i'll keep this until we move out but i did like like this neutral tone with like some of the browns the creams and then i like the different texture in the rug i thought it was really modern i feel like it felt it fit really well into my room but evidently it don't like to last okay the color is like literally faded so hopefully me scrubbing it like that will kind of bring it back to life um but we'll see Cascade is actually sleeping downstairs. He has been all over the place today, so he definitely needed to go down for a nap. So he is sleeping. I need to bring him back up here. Um, and then I want to make myself some breakfast. I also need to shower. Uh, am, I, am I the only one who's like this? I don't like to shower before I go into like a deep clean mode. I'd rather deep clean and do everything I need to do because I know I'm going to be like, God broke a sweat. So I would rather do that and then go take a shower and then relax instead of doing it the other way. But that's what I'm about to go do. I'm about to go get him, make some breakfast, shower, all that good stuff. So I will see you guys in a second. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so it is 6, 6.40 in the morning. I should be exact. Um, and as you guys can tell, hopefully, <laughs> I am going to the gym. It's been over a month since I've been to the gym. And I, girl... Um, I, I would elaborate on why and what and how and all these things but girl I'm just one of those people who struggle going to the gym I also struggle with my diet so then I don't see results in the gym but that's a story for another day I'm here at the gym finally today I decided to go to Planet Fitness because it's close by uh, we got a couple of gyms we can go to so um, I'm gonna go to Planet Fitness I may or may not bring you guys in with me it just all depends on how crowded it is in here and if you know i can find spaces to put y'all and everything like that but uh yeah girl um i'm kind of excited i'm kind of nervous i just need to get back on track and just you know like you know just try my best to reach my goals and um you know my goals is to lose this weight i want to go back to where i was pre-pregnancy uh you know i have no excuses my kids turning three like you know in december so it's like we just need to get back in track we need to get back to what we was doing uh so that's what i'm doing and it's actually raining a little bit so 
crazy. So yeah, I'm about to go inside because I'm on a time crunch. I will possibly see you guys inside. We'll see. biceps it was a good little workout so I'm about to go get gas and this up and head to the house so you know I know that like everybody has their own issues um you know I I try to I want to be grateful in every phase that I'm in and show myself self-love because you know people have it worse than me people have um health can health conditions and concerns that really affect how they look and there's people who just struggle worse than I am to lose weight to gain weight so I just want to I want to give myself a little bit of grace as I you know try to meet my goals this is my first day back at the gym it was a really good workout um you know I feel good and it's just about progressing and you know if I really want to meet goals I'm going to discipline myself and it's been a struggle for me and you know, I want to commit because I want to see a change in my body. I I don't feel my happiest, but I'm also not going to beat myself up. And I really, I think what's important, and I talked about this in one of my other YouTube videos, is, you know, it's important to love yourself in every phase that you're in. Show yourself self-love through every phase that you're in because you may not be happy right now, ultimately with whatever it is. You know, for me... My problem areas and things I want to work on and losing weight I'm not my happiest but I don't want to beat myself down to get to those goals because when I reach those goals um you know I can look back on my journey and I'm gonna think damn like this journey was so difficult and so just discouraging and hurtful and painful just to get to these goals was it really worth it whereas I can look back on my journey and you know see like oh my gosh you know throughout it all I remained motivated i remain consistent i know i i love myself through it all and it makes getting to those goals you know easier it makes getting to those goals worth it to me in my opinion so yeah that's where i'm at um so i'm just gonna take one day at a time and you know life is a journey fitness is a journey skincare is a journey all of it so since i started my day so early and i worked out and all that stuff i really want to try to keep this momentum going and really get some stuff done today so i'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit after i'm showering and all that stuff um you know make some food and everything like that so yeah hey guys um it is very dark in my room right now but today it was raining this morning it started raining and it's just it's just super gray it's like extremely gray right now and it's giving me Washington vibes. Since it's gray and I have a feeling it's gonna be gray all day, it's gonna interfere with my content because um, the content that I'm doing needs to be like in golden hour setting. So it may go away, but for right now, I'm about to take this all in. It's giving me Washington vibes, a little bit of rain, some rain. So that calls for a little binge action. Um, I think I might turn on the Harry Potter movies and then also do some editing. Cascade is living his best life over there. I am really, really tired, probably just because I haven't actually worked out in a couple of months. So like doing that, we just went on a walk, um, made some food, did my hair obviously, showered, all of that stuff. We did a lot this morning, cleaned up, blah, 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 blah. So about to eat my food. Cascade's probably getting ready for his nap. I'm feeling a little tired myself, so I hope I don't know, I hope I get some work done, but if I need to take a nap, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. And I'm about to binge these movies, cause it's, man, the vibes is here, man. Oh my gosh. I think he's about to eat his fish stick. He hasn't had fish sticks before. But I don't know if you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I talk about like his eating habits and all, a lot of stuff about Cascade. And he's going through that phase where he literally just wants milk. He doesn't want to eat anything. And I feel like, at first I was like, am I, is, am I doing something wrong? am i failing but a lot of people was like no girl that is like normal 
a lot of kids go through that most kids go through that so right now i'm surprised he's even eating a fish stick but i put the food out in front of him even if he doesn't eat it i just want to keep on just putting the food in front of him and then hopefully at some point he decides oh yeah i'm gonna eat it anyway enough of the rambling i'm tired girl i'm about to relax and i'm about to watch these shows and i'll check in with you guys later what's up you guys just checking in i'm um, excuse the noise in the background because i have two fans on because we don't use ac all day so we need the help okay mr bear is watching what's wrong with it it's better when you sing oh no you you're not trying to watch a lot which one? Watch how he does it, you guys. Which one? Hold on. Let's find it and you can click on it. Watch. There you go. And then click that one for you. Whoa. Um, yeah, so we're having like a little movie day. Um, and it's been nice. It, as you guys can probably tell from like the window, it's nice and sunny outside, which is cool or whatever. But girl, I'm still gonna pretend it's a rainy day and I'm gonna just binge my movies. Um, cause I could do like that okay here we are we love some harry potter i'm on the second one right now this is professor snape just so dope i love him he is such a little bitch but we love him now that cascade is up i am gonna fix him some lunch soon he had like a few things a little snacks i'm gonna fix him some lunch soon possibly make me something to eat or order some food i don't know and yeah we're just gonna be chilling until you know mozzie gets home and i need to make dinner and all that good stuff so uh yes girl that's what today consists of and i love it i'll talk to you guys in a little bit once we are kind of finished binging and all that fun stuff headed to the gym as we speak um my second day going in so i guess my schedule for the gym is going to be Monday through Fridays. I am just going to get up early like I have been and just go. And depending on, oop, depending on Mozzie's schedule, I'll go earlier, you know, and that way he can watch Cascade while I'm gone. Let this car turn. Um... Yeah, that'll be cool. I just took some pre-workout and I should have took it earlier, but it's fine. I just need to wait till like, it's seven right now. Um, so I just need to wait for like 20 more minutes and I'll be good, I'll be straight. But I will meet you guys at the gym, possibly record a little bit. Uh, I'm so excited, girl. I feel good. I feel good um like I, and, and what i mean by i feel good like i mean i feel good in the sense of um like when i get to the gym i enter like a mode that really feels good um it's just the process of getting to the gym like that's kind of difficult for me and that's why i struggle because the discipline isn't there but once i'm like ready and i'm going to the gym and i got my music and everything playing girl i am in such a mode it's like not even funny and i enjoy that feeling i love it so um i'm gonna actually you know drive like i should be and i will see you guys at the gym Um, so I just got done with the gym. I went back to the house and um, grabbed Mozzie and 
and Mr. Butts. Um, right now, Moss is headed to the gym. Um, I may, I'm gonna wait for him or either like go across the street to like TJ Maxx or something like that. And then after that, um, I'm gonna take him to work and then I am going to go sign this lease that I've been needing to sign. I've been saying I need to sign this lease forever and I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna go right now um, and take Cascade with me. But yeah, that's kind of the plan for right now. Um, What's up, you guys? So, we are headed to get Mozzie, and then I need to go to the store. I also need to pick up crumble cookie for my mother-in-law. But I need to go to the store and get some things. Uh, you know, just to re up on some food and then get whatever we're thinking about having for dinner. I honestly, I'm not gonna front. I'm kind of going overboard with this like steak and lobster dinner, but that's exactly what I want. But I don't want to be overboard with it, so I'm gonna see what Mozzie wants and then suggest it if he like thinks he wants it. Anyway, that's what's going on today. Um, I didn't vlog when I got home because when I tell you guys, I was in shambles. I personally was in shambles. I was not feeling good. Um, I don't, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it had to do with the pre-workout. I was really tired, I felt exhausted, but I felt like tired, like I weak, like weak tired, like I couldn't do anything. And I did have a really good workout this morning, but you know, I, I very rarely experience like those moments where you're just completely drained after a workout, like when you're completely just done. That's usually, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but today I think I experienced that where I was just like and granted I hadn't worked out for I hadn't worked out for like two months you know what I mean so I think maybe because I hadn't worked out for two months that you know my body was like bitch you're going in and you're going hard and we love that but we need time to catch up like you know like we need to we need to catch up with you because you're just doing a lot. So I think that's maybe what, what happened because I was so fatigued today. Um, and I don't have all the things that I need. Like I, I use Mozzie's pre-workout because I don't work out in two months. So I haven't like, and it was like when I decided to work out, it was just like, I'm ready to go. I don't have any of those things. That is, girl. And when you don't have like certain things that you're used to it and you are used to having things that are going to help you recover from your workouts and all that shit, I think that's maybe what happened to me because I was so exhausted today. Cascade, oh, so then we went to go sign our, my lease, which was good, so I got that all taken care of today. Um, Cascade had like a 20 minute nap in the car, which isn't good, he usually sleeps for like an hour, sometimes even two, just depending. And he kind of missed his schedule, like nap time routine. So when we got home, he was not ready to take a nap and he actually fell asleep, right now it's 5.30, he fell asleep at like four. So I'm already know we're about to be up all night. It's about a disaster. This is like, it's so crazy when it comes to your kids, you gotta stay on a schedule because if you don't, or if you stay on a schedule and like you have a routine, a set routine, and you go off of that routine, God, it's like so crazy. I don't, yeah, like they just can't really adjust as well. And I guess that makes sense, but I'm just like, dude, like he's, he has a pretty solid schedule for the most part. I'm gonna go ahead and check in with you guys once I get Mozzie. Um, so I can listen to my music and everything like that. I'll see you guys in a minute. What is good, you guys? Okay, so we're back at the house. Um, it's eight o'clock, girl. I've been here for a little minute, and I'm about to start cooking. I'm making my my steak and lobster. Okay, I've just been in the mood for it. Oh, it's so so good. So that's what I'm making. But since I've already kind of showed you guys pretty much how I do it, I'm just gonna show you the aftermath and get into my Harry Potter. I'm having a Harry Potter marathon right now. I'm kind of taking a break from Vampire Diaries because it's just, it's getting a little slow for me and I'm just kind of like, it's, the Vampire Diaries is something like, there's just every, at the end of every episode, there's always some bullshit. It's something that's always happening, which make, I mean, it's supposed to, I guess, but it's just like, girl, I can't take it right now. So I need to take a little break, intermission. So I'm binging Harry Potter right now because it's easy to watch. I already know it head to toe. So I'm playing in the background and I'm about to cook this food. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath. I had to put the flashlight on this joint to show you guys. I really suck at plating, but just know it's very good. Uh, it's kind of a basic from your girl, but 
so good. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm beat and I have an early morning because tomorrow is leg and shoulders. Oh, I'm hoping I keep this momentum up and just get it to the gym. So, I'm gonna call it a night. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. So, today is Friday. We are headed to the gym. I'm doing legs and shoulders, but I really need to hurry up and get to the gym, girl. I'm running a little late. I um, got a little Cintiq Gloss Bomb heat on. I've been kind of into hats lately. Went to the gym. So, anyway, let me hurry up, uh, get to this damn gym, and then I'll meet you guys there. Cool? Cool. Hey guys, we just got out the shower. Look at him. <laughs> he was so upset with me, you guys. No joke, because I have to brush his hair. Like, his hair, as you guys probably maybe peeped, his hair is kind of wild. Um, and it's hard to maintain. Like, I know when he gets a little bit older and he can help me maintain his hair regimen and routine it'll look really dope like i'm pretty sure he's gonna end up having like corbin blue or corbin blue uh curls like just the big curly like fro like it's gonna look so cute but obviously he's a little two-year-old so he's running around being rough and his hair always just looks wild like he he looks like that kid off of wild thornberries like he, he yeah girl so it's all brushed and he has some shrinkage action girl so when i definitely brush it out it like definitely shrinks up and his curls are a little bit more defined but he hates it actually this is what i use to um detangle his hair and it works very well um and then i use pattern uh the tracy ellis ross's hair care brand i use those products in his hair i didn't put it in it now just because more than likely he's gonna go swimming and all this stuff. So I just put some detangler in it and brushed it and he is knocked out. But um, I am about to redo my toes. Um, I did all white toes, which I usually don't do, but I just was like, okay, let me go ahead and just do all white toes, girl. Cause I really don't feel like doing a French. Like French takes a little bit longer for me and I just want to get my toes cute and just ready to go. But I didn't like the white polish that I had it just was like it just started chipping and that's all that stuff so i bought some new stuff off amazon i'm about to do that now since he's falling asleep i'm gonna watch some harry potter i'm gonna order some food I'm so so hungry and i have some work to do later on but i can't really do it right now because um i'm waiting for like golden hour to get some really like dope ass like content but yeah so with all that being said i'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit I really need to get into these toes, girl. That's one thing for me. I used to be a, I have to have my nails done, fuck my toes. I really don't care because I wasn't wearing sandals and heels and stuff like that. But now that I wear sandals and heels and my toes is out, it is fuck my fingers right now. All about the toes. Um, I like doing my fingers, but I like to do more intricate shit with my fingers compared to my feet. So it takes more time, which... I don't ever have and I don't want to go to the salon and get my nails done like I did last time you guys seen how ugly that I mean it didn't look ugly it was doable but compared to the experiences I've had with amazing nail techs like these people just don't do it for me at all and on top of that I don't want to spend like over a hundred dollars just on a full set like and I used to do that I don't want to do that no more so I do it myself I just really struggle with finding time to do it so Anyway, <laughs> that was a little rant about the nails, girl. I'm about to get these toes right, though, okay? I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. What is up, you guys? So, um, I am headed out to the pool. I just finished my nails. Mm -hmm. I was able to do my nails. I tried to do, like, that cool little swirly thing that's kind of, you know, popular. And then we have just some white toes. I probably won't do white again. I just don't know why, but I really do not like all white toes on me, at least. So yeah, I'm gonna take Cascade swimming because it's hot, he's been cooped up and he needs to get off some energy 
and have some fun. So let's go swing. I will check in with you guys when we're done. So they Why you look like that, Chi Chi? You always got a stank face. Why? <laughs> so then I tell the girl, okay, let's do the, the extra popcorn. Yeah. Well, you can't do that. Yes, you can. I just need to do another transaction. I left, came back, give me another popcorn. Yeah. My phone number. Well, what do you want to use on your membership? That's what she's. I said, that's what girl, you yes. <laughs> you want pop butter? No. I can get my own butter. Yeah. Just get you the popcorn. She's sitting there trying to figure out, can I get your phone number again? I said, <laughs> I looked over at Tina now. <laughs> I think she charged me for the fucking popcorn for the price. I was so fucking pissed. Really? I, forget. I was so fucking pissed. I said, you know what? Fuck the popcorn. I walked off. Yeah. I was so goddamn mad. She said, ice rations. She said, are they, are y'all on ice rations? <laughs> <laughs> Go to, uh, oh my yes. gosh. Yeah, Good morning, you guys. So that was Mozzie's mom. She is uh, so she funny. She was she telling us what happened at the movie theaters yesterday. They went to go see Fast and, and the Furious. She's something else. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go straight caring on people. Hey guys, uh, I'm about to close out this vlog. Yesterday I didn't vlog. I was so, so sore. Oh my gosh, you guys. My hamstrings are literally. I've never been sore like this. I can't even remember a time, I can't think back to a time where I felt this sore, which is a good thing, I'm really excited. Um, so today's Sunday, Monty's day off, we're gonna be chilling, I'm about to, you know, set up our new vlog, so I'm gonna close this one out. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you guys so, so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, um, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.